saved by the bell. Again. I'm like the Incredible Hulk, except my powers only work when I'm scared silly. That's the second time I've opened a shift by instinct alone when I've been in mortal danger. The frustrating thing is, I still don't know how to do it when I'm not scared. Wait, didn't the old lady say I should use what I do best to focus my talents? Is running away really what I do best? Come to think of it, why did the shift dump me here? I wasn't even thinking about the studio. Oh no, more agents. Damn it, I can't get out. The old woman, Lady Alvane, was it? She said something about using my craft to focus my powers, to learn how to open a shift at will. I guess it's worth a try. I did it! On my own, I did it! April. Oh, Mother. What's wrong with you? Touch me. April. Hmm. What's happening to you, Mother? I am dying, April. But you can't die. You're the... The Mother, the White Dragon. You're eternal. Aren't you? The Mother is, April. But I am not. It is time for the new to replace the old. For the seed to grow into a flower, and for the withered and the grey to turn to dust and pass on into the ages. Help me understand, please. Take my blue eye, the crystal. You need it. But I can't. Take it, quickly. Thank you. <sighs> Please don't go. I am tired. The war with chaos has taken its toll on me. I wish I could have seen my children grow up. When will the egg hatch? When I die and turn to dust. Be here, then, to witness the new mother. I promise. Be who you are, April. Do not be afraid of that. Who am I? My daughter. My own daughter. who you are. Sister? Sister. I... I can do it now. I can shift. It's not easy, but I can do it. Ironic as it may be, though, I think I've done all I can do in Arcadia. I have the two Arcadian dragon's eye jewels, the disc, and the star map. Now I need to find the Guardian, the two missing jewels, and somebody who can help me decipher the star map. And I have to look for those things here, in Stark.
sorry I'm late. Whoa! It's the fake ID girl. Hold on. You got it? Where you been, man? I've been holding on to this for a week now. Yeah, a week. What's the trouble? I paid up front. What's the trouble? What's the fucking trouble? The trouble is, baby, this thing's hot. It sizzles, man. They catch it with the shit on my hands, they give me 20 at least. Like you wouldn't get twice that for any of the stuff you have in here. Yeah, but that's mine, man. Mine. My problem. This here is yours. Shit, take it. I don't want it anymore. What up? That's all. Any chance of you deciphering this for me? Hmm. Looks old. This old? It looks old. It's gotta be old. What do you do, rip off a museum or something? Cause I'm cool with that. It was a gift. Would you be able to calculate the coordinates of that... cross based on the positions of the stars? Shouldn't be a problem, as long as this thing's accurate. I'll just do some chem trace tests. See when it was made, and then figure out the rotation of the constellations and calculate the... Yeah, sure. And what's it gonna cost me? This time? You still got credit from the AG unit you gave me. Works like a fucking charm, I'll tell you, baby. It's hot, I can float like the wind, duds. Mmm! Eat with two people on at the same time, oh yeah. I, I don't wanna know that. So, when can I get the results? Can't do the chem tests here, but I'll call a friend of mine. Owes me a favor. Come back later. Yeah, yeah, later. Much later. Sure. And hey, don't wait a week this time. Got it. the smallest cross-level elevators I've seen. The big ones can carry up to 100 people at a time and they go way fast. I've never been inside one, of course. It's a police officer. There's an empty pizza box in there. They got the coolest clothes in that store. The coolest and most expensive. I saved for months to buy a pair of socks there once. The coolest pair of socks I ever had. I could definitely do with a change of clothes. And so what if this store's way out of my league? After what I've been through, I deserve to splurge a little. I look good, I feel good. Thank God they had a thermal shower in there. I needed a proper disinfection and delousing.
bored looking policeman. Officer? Yes, ma'am? Can you direct me to the MTI building? Certainly. See that huge, massive, towering building over there? That's it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thanks. You're welcome, ma'am. Wow, it's a faux Roman palace. How very Las Vegas. <clears throat> Stunning. In a creepy neo-fascist way. Hush. Scary. I believe that circle with a big X through it is supposed to represent the destruction of the balance. These guys don't get around. That's the only elevator in the building? I wonder what they do during rush hours. And what, pray tell, do you think you're doing, miss? Me? Uh... I'm visiting a friend of mine. Oh, really? Then your name would be in my appointment diary, yes? Uh, I don't know. I don't really have an appointment. You don't say. And do you really have a friend in the building? No. Then I suggest you turn around and walk out of here, miss. This is a private building. How do I call the elevator? You do not, miss. I call it. All right, thanks. No, you misunderstand. I call it. For people who work in the building, or for those with appointments with the people who work in the building. You are... How shall I put this? Street vermin. A hooligan. Scum. You were homesick the day they taught diplomacy, weren't you, Jerry? Gerald, please leave the building. What floor is Jacob McAllen on? We do not have a Jacob McAllen working here, miss. Do you have any McAllens at all? I'm not picky. I am not about to divulge any private information to a person such as yourself. Good for you, Jerry. Gerald! It would be so nice if you left now, miss. Can I bribe you? I'm sorry. What? Pay you to let me slip by you unnoticed into the elevator? For goodness sake, miss, absolutely not. I am not your common low life. I'm sure even a stand-up guy like you, Jerry, needs some pocket change now and then. Gerald! And no, I do not. Now I would like you to leave. Immediately. Thank you very much, Jerry. <sighs> Gerald! And if you do not leave, miss, I will be forced to call the police. Got a pizza delivery for Mr. McAllen. Really? There's been no... Wait a second. Weren't you in here before? Me? Nah. Uh, been, been delivering pies to the, uh... To Venice, I, I ain't been up here before. Nice hood, clean pavements, good air. I could have sworn. Oh, very well. Give me the pizza and I will see to it that it's delivered to Mr. McAllen as soon as possible. No can do, guy. This has got to be delivered now before it gets cold. You know how Mr. McAllen gets when his mozzarella is cold. <sighs> I can't very well leave my post, so... All right, all right. Step into the elevator and I will send you to Mr. McAllen's office. But I want you back down here pronto, do you understand? <laughs>